Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today, 5 o'clock, Friday, uh, May 31st. So, I have not done an analysis on the cryptocurrency space because I'm pretty well, if you have seen my latest videos, that I'll have worked on the mean reversion stuff, the pair trading, and Forex. So now, I'm revisiting both doing a Bitcoin, Ethereum, just to get an overall look at how the space is looking. Uh, I'm going to do the top three, even though I said Bitcoin and Ethereum. So here we are on CoinMarketCap. You can see that the price has gone up. Uh, it's been a green day for the last 24 hours. So I thought, why not check it out? And if you have not watched my latest videos on the pair trading uh, with the mean reversion, check them out. I'm hoping to apply this to crypto early next week and get everything traded uh, as well or tested as well as a logic why I'm doing this not just for momentum but now for mean, re mean reversion all against you is dollar uh, down the line but it adds a new lot of new flexibility okay so what I've done is I've got generate two days worth of uh, charts for Bitcoin uh, so uh, we'll take we'll check out the um, weekly analysis as well so the main thing here is this is a two day uh, bar go up, come down, and then it goes back into, I'm gonna, two, two lessons here uh, during this last uh, couple of days, or yeah, last couple of days. In here, we're in range bound. We are, uh, I guess you could say, maybe in a, pot a potential mean reversion along here over 24 hour period, because we know that this is, pretty volatile. Um, it will change how I look at things uh, from the perspective of how to trade cryptocurrency. Um, everything still stays the same. You can see here we're going into momentum, still positive. It's coming back. I can't say what will happen, but um, we will look at the um, weekly. That'll probably give you a better synopsis of what's going on. All right, so I've done a, if I'm not sure, did I, yeah, so I've run a analysis for two day on Ethereum as well. All, all these charts are the same of what I've shown before. Um, so we're now looking at Ethereum. I had my system run up until last night. It was taking some XRP ripple trades as well. So here it's a very similar pattern up and then back down again. You got to ask yourself what's driving that um, down. Again, the Fibonacci levels all the time hovering at our 618, comes back down to the, or hits the 100, comes back down, it fights its way back to the 500 and then the 618, uh, and then eventually probably repeat the same story. But now we can have uh, a way to handle uh, while it's oscillating in here. But the problem is, is for a very short period of time, question is will this mean reverting pair trading or some of the code I can take out of it will can it be applied uh, to these scenarios I've talked about in the past um, so let me generate the chart for XRP as well for the same time period uh, so again we have a two-day period here so we'll do XRP against the USD and then I'll take a look at the seven day chart uh, now remember always cryptocurrency never closes so this would be nice if it could work. Now again, this is two days worth of hourly data. So if I look at XRP, they did say it was doing fairly well, and it kind of has, um, but similar patterns as before. These moves up, sudden dip down. Oh, I forgot one thing to mention here is, let me just load up the uh, Bitcoin again. I think this is important as part of what I've learned over the last few days are these, and this is, this I saw this. So when you look at the candles here, here um, we have these big wicks um, right here. This is, I guess it could be an overextension. Um, you can see here, even on an hourly basis, these big wicks can sometimes turn into reversals as you see here we have a big wick here down and a reversed to the positive 
And again, here on this particular candle, it there was just this big, huge variance on the price over that hour, and it reversed again. So these are things to um, be on the lookout for. But when you look at um, the same pattern in other currencies, it's here somewhat in this candle. And definitely, definitely in this candle as well. You can see that extension and it flips and like at least goes pausing in the next hour. And then it goes through this range bound for the next set of hours. But you can see it's climbing here. Momentum's moving up as well. So we might have a good weekend of activity, even though I won't be keeping the system on. Because there's no point in training it because things will change the next week. All right, so we've looked at <clears throat> Ethereum, XRP, BTC. So let's do a seven day analysis of each. So I'll do the, uh, the um, XRP, this might take a little longer due to the fact that it's more data it's working with from two to five, or sorry, two to seven days. So we'll do the same thing. Let me just uh, open up the XRP on the weekly basis first. Kill this just to make sure. Okay. Alrighty. And then we'll run this in the meantime on Bitcoin over the last week. Okay, so do BTC. Okay, let's check out what's happened with XRP for the last week. We can see a steady trend up for a period of time, roughly halfway between 26th and 27th of May, trending up and then these slight big moves down and then it might start trending up as we see here. Again, when you look at um, these big bars here, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a trend there to watch for these big wicks, these big overextensions, same here. Uh, we have a reversal, and this one is a false positive, unfortunately, but over time you can see it's ready to dip. Now, one thing I did put in my um, uh, YouTube channel is the uh, Arun Oscillator, which seems to have some potential in actually working. I use Motive Wave to look at that. So um, these are sort of things that I'm looking for now. Um, but part of the other thing is... Same, same logic here, entry here, hit that 786. Um, but here we have another drive up from the six. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, actually it's this, if this is the entry here, did drive up to the uh, 100. And this leg up here, we just moved up to just over the 786. Not enough momentum. In this case, it did move up in this leg and as you can see here, we are approaching now an entry for XRP historically over the last week. So that may work. All right, so let us check. Uh, I got one more uh, set of charts to generate for the Ethereum seven day. And in the meantime, let me just uh, load up the USD or Bitcoin. USD, and then we'll go back to what we had. Okay, so here now looking at the seven day for Bitcoin. Very interesting. Um, comes, I mean, there's no chance even, even a, uh, a, a, that's a big move. I guess that's from a week ago last Saturday. Would it have been? Well, that's a big move. Um, so that took place on the 27th of May. Let me just see what day of the week that was. And that the best when it comes to looking at. Uh, so the 27th, we met. So that's a Monday. That's, that, so we had a big move on Saturday and we had this next big move on Monday. So we missed that and then went into a flat. Trading condition drop back down from that peak, but quite interesting uh, when you look at this. No chance for the 500 to establish, just getting dro driven up. But for roughly from the 27th 
the 31st, so that's sometime uh, in the last 24 hours, it's been driven back down. Uh, and then it might, so this oscillation might slowly leg up, come back down and, and leg up. That's what it's been doing for the last couple of weeks. Quite, quite the interesting. But again, um, very close to the next entry on a historical point of view. And I wouldn't be surprised that you will see a very similar pattern uh, going up very close to the 100. Here it did. So I wouldn't be surprised that we'll hit the 618 over the next, looks like 24 hours, and the pace that it moves up, wouldn't be surprised it'll even hit the 100. So what we're doing here is I'm going to put some calls out here. Entry at 8551, uh, the potential exit, I'd do a half a, a exit if you wanted, at uh, 7. 8687 and a full exit here at 8930. Should have done the same thing with the XRP. Let me just do that as well because this seems to kind of work. So we will look at the XRP USD and we'll make the same call. Now, doing this may change my view. On the time frame, do I look at the two day? Do I look at the seven day as I'm doing here? So once again, here I won't be surprised. We'll have a slow build up, uh, six one eight pattern, setting the call at uh, right here 40, 43.58. Um, that's the entry, which is very close. It's pretty well at there now, and then we have our first leg up to the seven eighty six at forty one. Uh, 451 12 45 12 and then the um, 100 47 50 for a full exit I wouldn't be surprised this will be a, maybe a slow build give it till uh, between over the next 48 hours from here till Sunday sometime and then lastly we shall look at um, the ethereum seven day view let's check it out So here, um, check that out. Very interesting here on the Ethereum. Goes in a range bound for roughly how many days? Very similar to, um, so from again, the 27th. So there was a big, massive increase uh, on the 27th as well, sometime yesterday. And then this big drop right here so again let's check it out so we're fairly off we're not even out of 500 but historically i wouldn't be surprised but here's our calls again for ethereum um okay so the entry would be at 27 uh is that 271 65 uh first leg up for the exit at uh two 7838 and full exit at 286.94. So those are what we're looking at uh, on that going into over the next 48 hours. All right, so hopefully that'll help you out. I'll probably do a recap on Monday, see how we're doing. Don't forget we have our webinar uh, coming up on Monday, on the um, uh, June, was it June 3rd, I believe? But um, yeah, it's at 12 noon. We will talk about the uh, pair strain strategy and what I've found through that mean reversion versus uh, the the um, uh, mean reversion versus the momentum. So right here, here's all the details. All right there. So just look for the article pair trading potential with forex. Wouldn't be surprised if it's similar to uh, crypto as well. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Have a good day.